people living with disabilities in the country have a staring at or are staring at a brighter future after the government allowed them two months grace period before they could start repaying their loans. The move is meant to cushion them from the economic effects of COVID-19 pandemic that has seen thousands lose their livelihoods. As millions of Kenyans reel in social economic difficulties presented by the COVID-19 pandemic, women with disabilities have become even more vulnerable in this regard, the government is cushioning such groups by allowing them more time before repaying their loans. If banks are restructuring loans, how can we as government who are giving out loans not restructure? So we had a meeting and the CS directed that throughout this COVID period, for as long as COVID remains as it is because numbers are rising, we will give a grace period of two to three months and uh, we will keep reviewing it. Speaking in Naivasha while inspecting various projects under the Kazim Tani Initiative, Youth and Gender Affairs Chief Administrative Secretary Rachel Shebesh admitted that hundreds of youths had defaulted servicing their loans due to the pandemic. We decided we cannot punish young people, women and persons with ability because of the sins of the former parliamentarian or whatever. So we have opened up again Uezo. And we have got, uh, we, 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 we have ignored some of those stringent rules for now because it is COVID. Elsewhere, a group of youth from Gatundu South, Kiambu County, has benefited from a donation of chicks by Food Agriculture Organization FAO in partnership with Kiambu County to cushion them from impact of COVID-19. The over 3,180 chicks were donated to five groups of youth spread across four wards in the constituency after undergoing a rigorous training on poultry farming. The purpose of this project is actually to reduce migration of the youths in search of uh, the greener pastures. As you know, the youths keep on moving, actually taking what we call distress migration. Tumesomeshwa, kulea hizi kuku, vile utaeza kuzieka vizuri na zikupe faida, na vienye uneza zipanga, mpaka si ati kukupe faida hiyo, vienye uneza saidia, vienye uneza saidia watu vijana wegine kama sisi, the program hopes to lure more youth to venture into farming as an alternative source of livelihood. In Krinyaga County, cases of insecurity have reportedly reduced courtesy of the Kazi Mtaani program that has seen more youth get opportunities to eke a living. Kuna wakati kulikuwa na mambo mingi sana ilikuwa meendelea kama kuiba kuku za wenye but sasa hivi watu wako busy hakuna kuiba iba watu wengi wameacha kukunya pombe juu kama sio wako busy na kazi from 8 to 4 hakuna mtu anatoka kwenda kukunya pombe huko nje tunashukuru kwanza kwa sababu tulichukuliwa watu ambao wanafaa kirinyaga hapa tuko kazi tunafanya vizuri kama vijana lakini hakuna kazi haina changamoto tumepatana na mambo mingi Na kwanza ninge shukuru kwanza assistant chief wetu wakaria. Ana, anaona tunalemewa, anakuja, anatuonyesha huu ni wepesi. Anafanya kazi pamoja na sisi na tunashukuru kwa hayo. Kriniaga Central Deputy County Commissioner Jean Ndege admitted that the program has empowered youth not only in the area but nationally. Kiona hawa vichana wako hapa. Kira siku wanapata musahara ya 450 shillings ngawa airipu daily we do it weekly ama by weekly kwa hivyo ukiona ile pesa wanapata kwa siku sio pesa mbaya inasaidia pia kuwapatia kazi najua anasema eh, an idle man mind is the devil's what works so